Good afternoon, friends. I'm running a little behind. I am, um, my light burned out the other day. And so I was hoping FedEx would get it to me. They usually deliver my stuff to me in the morning. It hasn't arrived yet. So I'm down a lamp. So there's, it's going to be shadowy on one side. I'm sorry. I'll try to stay under the one lamp I have. But uh, it will be, it will all be fine. It will all come out. It will be terrific. And we'll have a light for next week. So uh, let's go ahead and look at a few things and see if anybody wants to join us. I usually go live about 11, but today it's one my time. So let me flip my cameras and get started. It's been quite the wild week for me. My husband was injured a while ago and he had surgery finally on Monday. And so that's kind of thrown my week into a busier than I had anticipated, which is fine. But he's on the mend now and hopefully he won't be lifting heavy things for a while and we can keep his arm in good shape, hopefully. So let's go ahead and take a look at a few things. The starter kit right now, um, if you have a wish list of $100 or more, you can get um, $155 worth of self-selected products for $99 plus some business supplies. And that gets you in the door to fun team things. Um, I'm a part of a bigger team that they welcome us in to do things. See, I'm shadowy over here. Sorry. Um, anyway, I... Um, my team, we're going to have our, our very first team meeting at the end of this month. So I'm looking forward to that. And um, you get to have the discount of 20% for all your future orders. So it's really a great deal right now. One of the things you can get in your starter kit is this brand new fitting florets collection. Um, in the collection, you get the bundle, uh, you get the, yeah, the bundle, the stamp set and the dies, and then you get a special stamp set that's only available while it supplies last or through the end of, or through January 4th, it says, and then you get designer series paper and gold adhesive backed swirls, and that's $97.50. And when you get the starter kit this month, you can actually order um, this in your starter kit so you can get it this month just like demonstrators so let me show you up close I did get this already so I'm going to do this first because it's big um, because it is available now Stampin' Up designed this paper to be both Christmassy and floral um, because one of the stamp sets is Christmassy and one of them is floral. I know Stampin' Up's very tricky that way. If you were a part of World Card Making Day, which is one of the next things I was going to show you, um, they demonstrated this. And if you didn't get to see the World Card Making Day event, it's available until October 18th. So you can watch it and see all their fun ideas for this paper. So... This is the paper, so that could be some Christmas. It's a, it's more of a mm, evening evergreen, I think. I've got it upside down. Very pretty. So that could definitely be Christmas. And either or there, some boughs you could use for Christmas. Oh, isn't that paper gorgeous? <gasps> Oh, I haven't seen it up close. You just saw me open the pack, so I haven't seen it up close in person. This could definitely be Christmas, but this could definitely not be. And here we go on the last one. So this is the designer series paper. It's not probably going to make it into the next catalog. It's only available until January 4th. The dies and stamp set. Uh, the framed florets will be this will be available until this one will be in the next catalog so this one will last a long time if you're a demonstrator you can demonstrate this for a long time if you're not a demonstrator you can use it forever and love it but it's got these fun dies um 
there's more dies in here. So these beautiful oval dies and a leaf. The rest um, cut out these images on the stamp set. And like I said, this will be carrying over into the new January, June catalog. But the paper that I just showed you and these fun embellishments, these are called gold adhesive backed swirls. Can you see the swirl in there? So these aren't going to be available for very long. And then this, I love this. I needed another set that had the... Um, some Christmas sentiments. So this part filled that void very well for me. Um, I love to have yourself a merry little Christmas. I love mixing the the fonts. It is the season to be jolly. I'm not ready for Christmas, but I'm getting there. All right, so let's go ahead and carry on. So the whole collection is 97, but you can just get the bundle, and that would be 54 because you get 10% when you use the bundle code. Um, this set, if you just want uh, the, the Christmas set alone, it's only 23 and the adhesive is 850. And of course the designer series paper is 12, but you can't buy this unless you're a demonstrator until November. So the kids collection is the next thing I wanted to talk to you about the birthday card kit organizer. I've showed most of these to you before. I don't have the Nourish and Flourish kit. That's the one that Stampin' Up! gives money to, I think it's like food banks and stuff um, with purchase of this one. But I've showed you the Love Santa, the Celebrate Today. Um, I haven't showed you the rest, but this is the newest one. It's the birthday... Uh, birthday organizer kit. So let's see what we can see with this one. It just came yesterday. So it's larger than I had anticipated and I don't want this to take a lot of time, but I have an awful cute card to show you today using the Scotty dog punch and set. So um, there are some cards to make some birthday cards, um, some envelopes. Here we go. And then look at that fun gingham on the card bases some polka dots and I think there's enough to make 12 cards if I'm not mistaken 12 cards some embellishments and that's the fun thing about our our kits is you get all the adhesive all the everything that you need to make the kit here are some stickers I don't know what they're for or maybe they're not stickers they're just dies so that means no adhesive you put your own adhesive on um, it comes in a couple different languages. You just pick out whichever one you prefer. And uh, some stickers, some other things to jazz up your cards that they give you. Oh, that's what these are for. These are to make the cards. And then you have this perpetual calendar. And that's what I was intrigued most about. I need something to keep track of some birthdays. Um, not necessarily family birthdays, maybe some customers or team members or that kind of thing. So that's kind of why, that's why I wanted this. Something I could keep down here in my craft room. The family one is upstairs on the wall, but so I keep feeling like something's back here. Okay. So the back has a pocket. I think they all have pockets. So this is what they look like when they're done. The cards, my lights are all off today. I'm sorry. Let me set this aside and I can show you the book a little better. So there's cards and then here's the book that you can write whose birthdays there are. And then you can actually make the cards ahead of time. Or if you, if you make one and you think, oh, this one would be perfect for Betty or Bob or whomever, then you can tuck it in the pocket on each page and then it's ready to go when their day arrives. So that is the new birthday card organizer kit and it's available now. So 
I already mentioned that the card making event is available at stampinup.com until October 18th. This is the new paper pumpkin kit. The last one were cards that went with this. This is going to be a tag kit. And I'm not sure how many tags. I have info right here. I'm doing a vendor show tomorrow, so I'm trying to get info. 12 tags, three of each design. So, and there's going to be an add on of the little bags that you can make. So, I have so many irons in the fire. Yes. And more paper pumpkin and you can earn free products by shopping with me i would love it if you would shop with me um that would be fantastic and if you're interested you go to stampinup.com and you can put this host code in and it will take you right to me that is for orders less than 150 dollars. but if you have an order of 150 dollars, get the starter kit it's a no-brainer just get it do it okay Anything else that I have, you can go ahead, I mentioned, you can go ahead and check it out at the link tree right there. And you know what? I am doing better with, let me put this in here. I finally figured out that I can actually talk back to you guys. It took me a while. It really did. Sometimes... It's like the simplest things just don't click in my head. All right, so there is the Linktree account that you can click on if you're interested in anything that I talk about. And otherwise, um, that'll take you even to my shopping site. And my host code is here, um, many other places. So and today, we're going to talk about the Christmas Scotty Bundle. And it is on page 34 of the mini catalog. And let me clear off some of this other stuff that I just shared with you. And so today it has a punch. And I have all kinds of stuff. It has been a crazy week. So I have the punch. I'm going to swift these around because I don't want the reflection as much. And tomorrow I'm doing a vendor show in Glasgow, Montana. And Glasgow is the home of the Scotties. That's their mascot. So I thought, I'm going to do a card and make some other things this afternoon and hopefully entice a few people into loving the Christmas Scotty. So one quick thing I'm going to show you how to do with this. Let me get a piece of black paper. Oh, that's a card base. I don't want to steal that one. So just for fun, this is what I will be doing. One of the things. I love to make things that I can hand to the kids as they walk by because sometimes they're at these vendor shows with mom or dad and they're bored out of their mind. And being a former teacher, I always have trying to encourage kids to read in the back of my mind. So as you can see, it punches out a dog and a bow. And if I take a piece of Terran tape, and run it across the top of the dog's back. And I'm gonna pull this off. And then if I stack another dog on top of it, they should line up fairly well because they're the same punch. And I can put a little bow on there. I could put a little eyeball on there. But now all of the sudden they have let me grab my, they have a bookmark. And I use the tear and tape, one, because it's quick and easy. And two, usually the adhesive doesn't stick much. So there I have a cute little bookmark. So I'm hoping maybe a teacher will wander by tomorrow and go, oh, those are adorable. I could make those for all my students my hope. So if you're a Scotty, there's a quick trick right there. We could punch out some bows and put a bow on there. We could um, take our white pencil. Let me show you how, it, how easy that would be. If you get a white, if you have white watercolor pencils or, and you just 
Let's see, where would the little dog's eye be? Kind of under the swoof. Right about there. So then he's got a little eye. Yeah. So that would be something that I will be doing many of for tomorrow. I might just sit there and punch him out while people walk by. So that's the plan. Let's make the card. Um, so there's a quick one, quick something you can do with these. And a lot of the kids that come by are just little and they have no clue what you'd need a bookmark for because they're books they read in one sitting. So then I usually just pop them on their little finger and I see them walking around all afternoon. I do this with Santa's too. Ooh, maybe this one won't work like that. They sometimes just put them on their finger and then their finger puppets for the day. So, yeah. Sometimes I put my contact information on there. You know, anything to help. So, we are going to stamp so we can dry. Because I just juiced up my black ink pads. And they're a little little juicy. So we're going to stamp first. I am going to stamp this little pup because he works with the punch. And I'm going to use one of the dies from the stylish shapes. I'm using this one. And actually I'm using the second largest um, square also. I already cut those out. Um, if you don't have that set, it's amazing. I don't know what these little, oh, that's probably for a gift package. I don't know. I don't know what you'd need an equal sign for. <laughs> See, there's the teacher in me. So I'm going to grab, actually, I'm not going to grab that one. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with that one. But I also need, um, may your days be furry and bright or you are always loved. I think I'm going to do may your days be furry and bright but I didn't check to see if this fits. No, nope, that one doesn't fit. I did check to see that um, you are, you are always loved. So got some fuzz. So we're going to go ahead and stamp that. We're going to do it in black. So we grab a block. Um, I am copying kind of a card that I found. I'm casing, excuse me. That's the, the Stampin' Up word. Um, casing means copy and share everything. And this is a totally Stacy card. I believe that's what I, it said. Um, yep, no, totally Susie. Sorry, Susie. So um, if you need some information, I'm sure she, but I think I will share as much as I need to as far as information. There we go. My phone's in a different location. I'm trying to make it that you can see with only one of my lamps on. So, um, ooh, so when you have a new photopolymer stamp and it stamps like that the first time, just kind of drag it across. Always practice with your photopolymer stamps first. And I see there's something right here. Oh, it's a little piece of black paper. So that's not going to stamp well. You can also take a white eraser and rub it over the top. But I find that if I just kind of gently drag it across, it takes that film off. And now we're going to try it again. And I will put it near where I was. And usually with photopolymer stamps, you want some kind of cushion underneath them. So can you see the difference? Look at how holy that was. Let me get it to focus. See how it's not really clear and how much better that is. So that's just a little pointer um, with your photopolymer stamps. I like the photopolymer stamps um, because I can see through them, but I like the durability of the red rubber. I have a cushion under my paper. It's a large um, computer mouse pad. I think gamers like them. 
who knew? But I fell in love with it when I saw the idea. And there's my tag. It's ready to go when we get to that part. I fell in love with the idea, and so I got it, and I love it because I don't have to have the paper piercing mats anymore because I've always got the cushion underneath, and it just it just helps with everything. And when I am not crafting uh, or when I'm not doing videos, I come down, and this is the greeting that greets me. Stay positive, work hard, make it happen. So just a little, you know, positive reinforcement. So I have a little Scotty dog I need to stamp with. And I'm going to do it. Uh, I need to get, so this is too big. But when you're surf, when you're stamping large surfaces, um, solid stamps, that's what I'm trying to spit out. Sometimes, especially using black, I don't know why, sometimes they just don't come out crisp. So that's when I like to pull in the Stamparatus. Now I did my class for my, um, excuse me, my witch's hats the other day. And by the way, this bundle is um, on low inventory. So if you're interested in the witch, punch, the witch's hat punch and um, or stamp set, I think it's the punch. You need to get it soon because it is on low inventory. But Stamparatus comes with extra plates. So I don't have to worry about messing up that design. I can just add my other plate to the Stamparatus. Now these were red rubber. So I need to get out the foam mat that comes with your Stamparatus. I'm going to knock over my glue and add it because you need the foam underneath. So there we have it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set my dog down because it's, although I do need to know where it's gonna go in case I, all right, I had a piece. Here we go. Here's my dog piece. Sometimes up by the hinge, it doesn't work quite as well. So I'm gonna go in that corner and I'm going to put him down there. And then I'm going to get my magnet. You have to store your magnets away from each other because if they get too close, they will click and they will break. You can get replacement magnets, but if you just keep them apart, then you don't have to get replacement ones. Okay, so that is sticking. So I'm going to have it in this corner right here on my mat. And put my magnet down. I'm going to ink my dog up. And like I said, the black ink just sometimes has a hard time inking up dark. So the beauty of the Stamparatus I just keep seeing little flecks and I'm trying to get this inked up solid. So come on, there's a little bit on his nose. Okay, we're gonna try that. So the beauty of the Stamparatus is that you can stamp it. Okay, you're not dealing with blocks. So if you have arthritis or anything, you're not having to grip the blocks. Okay, so he stamped. All right, not great. I am going to take a red or a, an eraser because I see there's a couple places that there is some film. So I'm going to wipe that off. And then I'm just going to gently take the eraser over it and it's staying put. Uh, this is just a Pentel white eraser. So I'm going to take it off his nose and I'm just going to erase his belly and his tail and just try to get some of that film off. And then with my chamois, which, oh my word, I need to order a new chamois because this one is filthy. 
this card will come together really fast after we get through our stamping. So that should clean up that stamp. So he's ready to stamp better. Because right now he's got little air holes. Do you see? And I want a solid, I want a solid dog. So we're going to go ahead and ink him up again. And my other ink pad is upstairs, but he is inking up much nicer. Ooh, maybe on his back a little bit. And the memento has a, a fabric on it. So, and then he goes exactly back down where he was and we can smoosh him down again and open it up and look how beautiful he is now. There are no extra white spots. That's why I did it with the witch's hats like that too. So we're gonna go ahead and set the Scotty dog aside or the stamp. And since this is so much black, we're gonna set this aside also just to dry. So let's go ahead and see what else we have going. So I'm using a black card base and I know I have a tool. Oh, so I'm doing the vendor show on <laughs> tomorrow and then I'm grounding myself to my craft room um, because my craft room is a disaster after doing so many classes lately. Oh, major disaster. So this is an extra piece for the inside. So here are some of our other little pieces that we're going to use. Like I said, I found this card and I'm not doing it exactly like she did it. One thing I am going to do that's a little different, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this down. I'm going to use a piece of tear and tape, I think. Because I'm going to emboss the red. And if I were to use what I call runny glue, I hope this is big enough. Well, maybe not. This might be too big. If I use runny glue, then um, when I run it through the embossing machine, some of the glue would ooze out and I don't want that look. So I am slicing the <laughs> tear and tape in half lengthwise. Just so I can get it to work better. It's a little wider. This is only a quarter of an inch thick. So that's why Okay, there we go. And I'm going to add this to it. I could just emboss this, but I'm going to emboss all of it. And that'll give this little piece a piece of texture also. All right, so we're going to put this down here. I made this just a little bit wider. Just so... Let me see if I can pick that up. I'm not picking it up, so we're just going with it. I'm just lining it up on my mat so that it's kind of sort of ready to go. And then I'm just going to trim off this extra piece. So there we have it. Because you never know if it's going to be perfect or not. And it's homemade, right? It's not supposed to be absolutely perfect. So I'm going to get my stamp and cut and emboss machine out. And I'm going to use the painted texture. This is one of our thicker embossing folders. So I need to use the gray plate. And let me show you. So with our stamp and cut and emboss machine, which I did get closer to me, yay. You always use the one plate. These are for dies. 
but then down here it tells you the difference. So if you're using a 3D embossing folder, which this one is, you're going to use plate one and you're going to use plate four. So that's what our plan is right now. If we're using a skinnier one, then we use the one and the two three plates for embossing folders. And for die cutting, you use the one, the two, and the two threes. That's why this is so chewed up. That's always the bottom one. I don't know. So I need the one and the four. And I'm going to place this inside this. And this way it'll, te it'll texturize the black also. So I'm going to place this in here. I don't really have to line it up because the painted texture isn't one that's you know, like the brick that you want. You want it straight. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all ready. So you put the one and you put this and then you make sure that the fold goes in first so it doesn't buckle and ruin your folder. So I'm going to grab my embossing machine and lower the edges. And I'm sorry, this is going to be up close and personal for quite a while. Actually, not quite a while, for just a minute. I'll double check, make sure I'm putting it in the right way. So the fold goes in first. And then you just gently keep rolling it through the handle. I have the handle up here, I'm cranking. And then hold on to it up here. And it will, you will hear popping, you will hear snapping, you will hear all kinds of things when it works its way through. And then it is complete. So I'm gonna go ahead and set these aside. Bring back my mat. Remember, if you fall in love with anything, stampinup.com, and you can use that host code, or you can go to the link tree and find anything you want. So because I have it up close because of my one light and too much shadow, I am going to get rid of that banner. Hi, Deb. How are you today? I am showing the Scotty card. This, I'm using this Christmas Scotty bundle today. And I have one lamp that's out. I usually use two. And I have one lamp that's out. So I'm trying to do my best. It was supposed to be delivered with FedEx this morning. And FedEx isn't here yet, which is weird because they're usually here in the morning. But who knows? So now do you see how the black is textured also? Isn't that cool? I like that effect. I really do. So we run this through with the painted texture embossing folder. And we're going to set, this is where this one's going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and use dimensionals with that. So I don't lose him. And... There we have it. Well, I actually got on late also, Deb. I, like I said, I was waiting for my light bulbs. And um, my husband, as you know, had surgery. And so I'm trying to keep him happy. Oh, watching the granddaughter. I was supposed to watch my granddaughter this afternoon, but plans got changed. Bummer, but I'm ready, getting ready to do a vendor show in Glasgow. So, all right, now we're going to take our dog that we stamped so solidly using this Stamparatus, and I'm going to get the punch. And then if you order this as a bundle, you save 10%. So don't forget to use the bundle cord code if you want both of these. Um... That's trash. I don't know why it's hanging out next to me. So with our punches, if you turn them over, you can line up exactly where you want. And I made this, there's too much space down here. So when that happens, you just come along with a pair of scissors and make it just a little bit closer. I'm gonna do this this way because I've got more of a handle on this side. So you just pop it in line it up and you can kind of just 
give it a half a punch and see if you need to make any any adjustments. Just like that. And once you have it lined up, you just pop it, punch it, and that is done. I didn't make a good bow, so we're gonna throw that one away. And we're gonna look at it two different ways. Let me see here, I've got a piece here. Hmm, there should be a scrap. I don't wanna use that big piece of red. There should be a scrap. I keep all my scraps in my pocket with my... So there's a piece. And I'm just going to feed this down in and pop out a bow. I don't know that I want a bow for this. I'm going to try it, but I have another idea that I think I, I think I might like better. But so we can go with the bow. Or we can go with a rhinestone collar. So we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of him her, him or her. This got a hole in it. Maybe I'll just make the hole complete or I'll take the hole away. All right. And we can just, nope, not going to fit that way. It, hey, it could have worked, right? Now next I cut out a piece of um black paper and I cut it I think two and a half by two and a half and then I took the second largest white from the stylish dies and I put that I'm trying to see I'm trying to use up this chunk there we go because I use all the parts of my dimensional sheets so there we have it kind of unconventional, but that works. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it in the middle. And we're gonna use it on the diagonal. So, is that too far down? Yeah. All right, we're gonna use it on the diagonal. Not that it's gonna matter that much, but we'll add him so that him, her, there we go. Then we're going to add him onto this using some, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna use up this tear and tape that I have sitting over here. Otherwise, I'm going to knock it off the edge of my table. It's gonna get stuck in my carpet or Lord only knows where I will find it afterwards. Are you doing anything fun this weekend, Deb, besides hanging out with the granddaughters? which is fun, I know. Like I said, I was supposed to have mine for a little while this afternoon and plans changed, but I got to spend a lot of time with her yesterday. So that was fun. That was very fun. Okay, so we have that. Now, Scotty dogs usually have a little plaid with them, right? And so this is from the gingham paper and it is in the, uh, the mini catalog. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that on here. And I am gonna use some runny, runny glue. I grabbed the lotion instead of the glue. I probably shouldn't have confessed that, but I did. My hands get so dry being a paper crafter. They always get kind of dry. And Kind of put that where I want it there. And I use the runny glue there because I've got all the dips and stuff from the embossing folder. So then it it can go in the valleys and the grooves and stuff. Then we're gonna add this here. Oh, he's so cute. So cute. All right, I'm gonna use dimensionals on this. And it looks like there, we'll start a new chunk with the dimensionals from the hole. And 
and add this on here. Let's see if we add that there. I'm trying to so when I add it to the card base, it's not all wonky. Okay. So if I add him there. And a little bit there. I guess he's a, it's a him because I keep calling him a him. All right, so there's that. It's kind of it's kind of not right. I love the fact that I can reposition things sometimes with dimensionals. If all else fails, I can just cut them. Cut the foam and there's room to your scissors underneath there. All right. See, so I got some of it. I got most of it off. Oh, my eyes are starting to itch now. Not a good thing. I ran out of allergy medicine, so, so we're gonna put that there. It's just too far over. I know. I should have just eyeballed it and been happy, right? Right. Okay, and so I also have my black card base. And I don't know where my um, bone folder is. It's not in my bag and it's not in my caddy. Although my caddy's all a mess because that's the one that has the light that burned out. So we're gonna add this on here. Isn't that a cute card? We're gonna use runny glue on this. It's the Tombow liquid adhesive. AKA runny glue in my world. Get down a little lower. And line it up. Looks like my folder behind or my piece behind is a little off. That is okay. I can fix that. It's just off a little. There. Okay, now it's lined up. So we can use the red bow that I punched out and put that on there. Or we can use, let me find them and move them close. So like I said, my craft room was looking so good. And now it's looking like there was a massive explosion. <laughs> Isn't it a cute card, Deb? I just fell in love with it. So I'm going to put the three dots there and kind of three, um, kind of make them look Okay, now to her. Kind of make her look like she's got a a spiked card, a spiked uh, or a, a rhinestone collar. That's what I'm trying to spit out. All right. <sighs> Here we go. I'm going to Glasgow tomorrow, Deb, and of course they are the Glasgow Scotties. So I figured I better have some samples of this particular card set to show them how much fun it could be. Oh, you're working at Ben Franklin tomorrow and then you start your new job. Woohoo! Very nice. Okay, and then her card had another little piece. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Because... I will, just a second. This is part of the green and red combo set. And this is the one that Susie did when she did her card. 
Her card was a Z-fold. Mine is not a Z-fold. Mine is just traditional. Actually, mine's not totally traditional because it's you open it from the top. Or the fold is at the top, not at the side. All right, I'm breaking in. So this is a two-pack. So if you go to look for it in the catalog, this is a two-pack. There we go. And we're just going to take a small piece. And I upgraded. I got a brand new pair of scissors. So, and hers, she just took a piece of this ribbon. And it comes with, like I said, garden green and real red. And she just did kind of a bow or a kind of a tie. And I find if I use scissors that are, I usually try to keep my newest pair for ribbon. Ribbon only. Then I'm not chewing through it. So I got a new pair because my other ribbon ones, I don't know. I had a class, a really big class the other night and I realized I needed another pair of scissors. So when I did my order after that, I got another pair of scissors. Oh no, I know what it was. It was the free shipping event. I needed just 10 more dollars and I thought, oh, I'll add another pair of scissors. Oh, now I went too short. All right, there we go. So we're gonna tuck this down here. One of the things that is fantastic with Stampin' Up! is the fact that all of their products coordinate. So this is the real red ribbon and it matches with the real red cardstock and the real red rhinestones and it all matches, all matchy matchy. Okay, I am out of my roll of glue dots. So I am going to use, these are some of the ones I have left over from my paper pumpkin kit. I will be in my room crafting all afternoon. If anybody wants to craft with me on Zoom, let me know. And I will send you the link and we can craft and chat and visit. So there we go. You are loved. A cute little card. Now because it has a black interior, we're going to add a white piece. And it was here a moment ago because I already showed you once. And it got set aside when I moved the dog over. So we're going to do it this way. Know that you are loved. We could do May Your Days Be Furry and Bright because that could be birthday, it could be Christmas, it could be whatever. I do like days are furry and bright. And we could also have a little pup in there. You know what? I'm going to stick with the same one because I already know that I've got all the ink off of it. Or all the stuff that could be on the stamp and I don't want to have to ink it up twice so all right so we're going to use this guy again and we're not going to punch him out this time but he will ink up so much better now that we have um where do I want him hmm I'd like him at the bottom so we're going to pick him up And we're going to set it down about there. And then when we line our card up with this line over here, he should be at the bottom. Okay. And since he's a cute little pup, it, does, it doesn't have to be perfect. So we're going to put it, this in here. <clears throat> Double check it without going down. There we go. He actually could move down just a little bit. Because I didn't realize this went all the way. This went down further. There we go. So we're going to ink him up. We're going to get the card ready. So I'm going to put the magnet out of the road. Uh-oh. Am I still live? My 
computer went wild, like it was updating or something. Am I still with it? Okay. Awesome. I don't know what happened. I'm glad you guys didn't see it. Yeah, it was like my, it was like all the things that open when I, after I restart were there. And you guys were gone. You were just under the stack though. So it was okay. So we're gonna go ahead and push this down. There he is. Look how crisp he came out that time. Not crispy, crisp he came out. All right, and you know what? I He's so cute. She's so cute. All right, I'm gonna put this back here. See how they're way apart? Yeah. Oh, and this is just duct tape. I put a small piece on here because otherwise they just pick up easier that way. So, yeah. All right, Stamparatus put aside. Now I'm going to get my scrap paper. Oh, I threw that one away because it was all yucky. So we're going to grab this one and grab another block. Several of my blocks are upstairs. I left some things up there so while I had my granddaughter this afternoon, I could get some odds and ends done. And I took them to the blood drive the other day thinking I would get something done while I was working the blood drive and I got nothing done. Absolutely nothing. So. All right, so I'm gonna stamp it. Oh, see how yucky? Just not great. So we're gonna drag it. Try it again. And the memento, since it's got that fabric overlay, kind of have to play with it a little bit. Much better. Okay, so now we're ready. And I do use like my lines. So I'm gonna eyeball it. And down it goes. Remember, you don't have to give it CPR, just firm pressure, no rocking. May your days be furry and bright. And as the sun starts coming in <laughs> the window, it's going to be bright. So let me find my lid so I don't put anything else into the ink pad. There we go. I have a card ready to go for tomorrow's vendor show. And hopefully many people will fall in love with it. I'm only doing Stampin' Up. I'm not doing any of my other businesses tomorrow. So if you're in the Glasgow area, come see me. Come see me. I would love to visit with you. All right. So there we have it. There's the card for the day. You are always loved. May your days be furry and bright. And I think I'll get an envelope that's buried right now out and stamp the little Scotty dog on the envelope also. So I have a feeling this card won't be coming home with me tomorrow. Have a great weekend. And if you are um, available to do mystery stamping with me on Monday, look out for the clue. If you aren't don't know anything about mystery stamping and you'd like to, go ahead and click on the um the link tree and sign up for my newsletter it'll tell you all about it it'll also give you the link to my group and um, i let anyone that's not a demonstrator in my group so um have a great great weekend and i'm gonna move that out of the sun and thank you for crafting with me bye